Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum Classic. I did cover Ethereum Classic, I believe, in one of the recent um, live streams during the week. Um, and it's something that it's definitely worth looking at. Also, I had a few questions by um, yeah, by some of my my um, members, yeah, channel members. And by the way, we're introducing here a few changes at More Crypto Online. So in the future, there will be for certain altcoins that I normally don't cover during the week. There will be regular member only videos during which we cover a lot of the altcoins that I normally don't cover on a on a daily basis. Could be could be Cosmos, could be Ethereum Classic, could be Bitcoin Cash, um, could be Algorand. Um, lots of lots of coins could be gala and i will still cover them um you know sort of uh in the in the public videos but of course sort of as additional perk for members um mco works even harder to create some regular altcoin videos where um yeah there will be a regular update on some altcoins but let's get to ethereum classic um ethereum classic just the general overview here similar to many other cryptos here a wave one back in may 21 all of this move was corrected in a wave two and it could have bottomed out. In fact, we can be quite certain that it has bottomed out. Um, there is never a guarantee really, but it is looking interesting. In that live stream that I made and I talked about these wave patterns, we expected at the time, I think we were somewhere, somewhere here yeah, or here, we expected at a time increasing prices. That is why I showed you that a wave five was incoming and I formulated this target error. This hasn't moved. That was the most likely target at the time for the wave five. Now, what I didn't know at the time is that wave five was extended, but this is not a problem. So the definite move that I forecasted in that live stream was up and we saw a reaction here in that area, but we moved higher. But again, doesn't matter because there was no signal to sell here anyway. It was, uh, you write the trend sort of until the end, isn't it? Now, we have therefore made this wave and um, however, I'm changing the wave count slightly to make this all work. So this is where we are. I would first comment here. I'm now expecting a strong pullback. Okay, I'm expecting a strong pullback and you can see that um, we have reached actually the 5.618 Fibonacci extension up here at $44. So from the low, that was a definite impulse, a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four, and a wave five. That is also what I counted already in that live stream, forecasting even higher prices in a wave five. Now that happened, okay? That happened, which is good. The Elliott waves again uh, gave us a good forecast of upcoming price moves, but this was obviously moving even higher. Of course, I'm not following Ethereum Classic every day. Um, usually when you see an extension starting, you would update that, uh, but this is interesting. So what is happening now? I think we have a good chance this wave five is over and we can expect a sharp pullback. Now you can of course hold this coin if you want to. Um, personally, I wouldn't, that's my view. I wouldn't, but that's up to you if you wanna do it. Um, why? Because this five wave move, yeah, formulates a first impulse with an extended fifth wave you can already see the sharp pullback here. Okay, so it's already happening. Now this wave one will now pull back in an ABC correction into a wave two. How strong is oftentimes that retracement? So it should be, that retracement should be a three wave move to keep up the bullish scenario. It should be a three wave move and would most likely dip into the region between $25 that is a 61.8% FIP level and 35, 32, no, $33, sorry. So $25 and 33, that is the 38.2% FIP level. For me, the most likely retracement area for this wave two or the retracement point is here, the 61.8% FIP level at $25. So therefore I'm going to show this as a target area for now. We can specify that further, the closer we get to it, because then we will know how low did wave A go, how high did wave B go, how low will wave C go, okay? As the Elliott wave principle teaches us, when you have an extended fifth wave, yeah, in an, in, in towards the end of, a, of an impulse, 
then the correction of the same will oftentimes come down to the previous wave four, which is here at $23. So very close to that $25 level. And therefore, it is also for me the most likely retracement zone. Yeah. So we're looking at that at the moment. It could even extend that down a little bit to the wave four low. Okay. So that's what we're looking at. This would be another possible entry point. So I'm not telling you to buy it, but this is an area where I would expect a reversal. Now, not just buy blindly into it, or you can, um, but what I always like to wait for is a bullish signal in this area, bullish reaction to a, to a certain FIB level. This is how I believe it will now play out. We will see a three wave move to the downside. We've already started it. We're going down as we speak. Um, this is quite a sharp pullback. It was overextended anyway. It's time that it's finished. And we did not get above the previous high. Yeah. So that we didn't get above that level is already a sign for a pullback. Yeah. We bounced off this resistance. So yeah, I think we're now entering this wave too. I think we are entering this wave too. That will of course get invalidated. Should we make a higher high? Yeah. So should we go above this level at $45, the view here that we are pulling back sharply will get invalidated and indeed we will move up even further. Uh, and next key resistance would then be, let me just zoom out again, next key resistance would then be the $53 level. Yeah. Um, but my primary expectation would be that we're pulling back now in an ABC correction, ideally down to around about $23 to $25. From here, I would then expect a wave three. Now, for the optimists, we can calculate also a wave three target. Now, again, I'm not definitely telling you that this is definitely going to happen. If we now see a five wave pullback, it will indicate that we are um, not yet in the, and if we go below this green area, then we really have to question this bullish scenario. But to make the bullish scenario work, it, this is exactly what needs to happen. We come down possibly to that $23 level and would then afterwards enter a really strong rally. Therefore, this would be an, a reversal point, in my opinion, where we could move up to $77. So we are really um, looking at this uh, from a bullish point of view, but now the needed correction is starting. You see the selling volume starting already. And to be fair, we were, let's go to the daily chart, overbought as well, yeah, um, which is not a problem, but you can see also that we were also on the eight hour overboard. So you just naturally wait here for a pullback for our overboard, yeah. And then we hit resistance obviously, and we basically maxed out pretty much what we could do in this first impulse. But the good, the good sign is here that um, this uh, was a first impulse, which means a wave two correction is incoming. Probably from all coins that I cover, this the most the clearest impulse and also the first one that really starts its major wave two correction so ethereum classic is leading the way here so and that's my view about ethereum classic hopefully you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye